Hello again, welcome back. What I want to look at today is maximum power transfer theorem. Okay, now what I've done here is to show you how the maximum power theorem can be applied. Now remember that as you go a little bit more technical at a higher level, it becomes more complicated to make sure that maximum power is transferred with regards to the circuit that's been used. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Now again, you can read this for yourself. You don't need me to be reading this out to you. So again, please bear that in mind. But what I've done here is just to make notes and to show you how the relevant formulas is still applicable. Okay. Now remember that E is the electromotive force, and that is the symbol for E. That's why E is used in this case. Okay. Called the voltage is actually an electromotive force. Now draw out the diagrams. Keep the diagrams so that you know what you're talking about, extract the information as it is given. Check that you have taken the information down as it is it has been given, okay, and it's how it is meant to be used. Okay. Make sure that the information you've extracted corresponds to the information given. Don't make an assumption. Now remember that P equals I squared R, okay? So I couldn't quite get the little two above the I on my system. But sometimes, as long as you are aware that it is a formula for finding power, P equals I squared R, okay? Now I've shown you here how, how to apply this process. Write out the process. Make it your own. Make sure you arrive at the same solutions and answers that I have given. Okay? Do not make assumptions. Now I've gone on here also to refer to the minimum value. Because if you have a maximum value, there obviously must be a minimum value that you can also calculate and this is done using calculus now look back at the work for calculus and look back at what you've done previously okay make sure you can use there's a good math book in reference to birds he produces a good engineering mathematics book. Okay. Now again, keep this in mind. Make sure you can extract the information and you can see what is happening. Okay. Again, you can read this for yourselves. Okay. Again, if you need to look at something, pause it and go over it or look back at it and make sure that you understand what's been done and how the answers have been achieved. Okay, do not make assumptions. Do it. Now here I've shown you a graph as well. And I've done drawn you a graph in regards to maximum power transfer. Try and do the graph for yourself. The question at the bottom relates to the graph, okay? And you'll see how I have brought this into play. Now, I don't know if you're going to get this. Yes, you should be able to see this fully. Okay? Yes, you can. You should be able to. Okay, so I'm just going to be further for you. Okay? Yeah. 
you can see where the graph is and how it has produced and shown a maximum transfer of power here. Remember, the graphical representation will be more precise in this situation than it would be by uh, physical calculations. Okay? So bear that, that, that in mind. But this gives a very good example indicating maximum power transfer. Now this question example 2 applies to the graph. This is just giving you the question as it is written out, okay? And to make sure that you have can relate to the question in itself. Again, try and draw the graph for yourself. Make sure that it comes out as it should. Okay? And again, please feel free to share this information. Okay, pass it on to your friends, show them access to this channel. And that would be appreciated, okay? Again, thank you for your time, and have a good day. Bye-bye.